All right, guys, starting off middle week, actually the middle of the week on Wednesday. There's not a whole lot coming in this week. I think I have another package of a repack that I hit some stuff on. I don't know if the other cards will make it in or not, but we'll start it off here. Got a show to be setting up on on Saturday in Lexington. These were all out of 79. I took the pink velocity spot. You guys already saw the Stroud. That went off already to be sold. Ritter. These are all like six to ten dollar cards. Up until Witten actually sells pretty good. No idea on that guy. Kincaid's around, I think it said 50 or 60. We had some autos. Jonathan Mingo. Let me get this. Uh, I only see one up. It's like $25. Quentin Johnson, I believe, was another like 50 to 70, somewhere in there. And then a Tank Dale, we're going to go ahead and redeem. These are selling like average 120, 130. So nothing too crazy. The Stroud, like I said, already came in. That was one of those beat the sort pieces. And, yeah. Lots of work to do this week for the show. And then next week, we're right in Louisville set up. All right, graded some Jordans. I'm going to see where they end at here. Jordan retires, nine. The MJ and Pippen. These all do somewhere in the neighborhood of like averaging 60 up to like $70. Magic vs. Jordan, 10. That's a hard grade on those, especially finding them raw. The Retail Golf, another nice one of MJ. And Draw Your Own Card, 10. A good old MVP. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm, I have all the dogs in here, and i got to keep an eye on them here. Upper Deck Canvas. Um, Pustinen. Ten. Up next, we got a Becky Lynch. Red Prism signature. I think that goes for, like, it's probably around 120-ish. Thought we'd knock a ten out on the Duncan Universe, but didn't do it. A lot of this stuff all came from uh, the Midwest Monster. The most disappointing one. I really thought this was a 9, possible 10. No idea. The centering looked pretty decent onto it. No idea. Another Kobe Z-Force or Superman, whatever you want to call them. 9. This, if you remember, came back as a Beckett Raw. 9.5, we got the 10 on to it. Roddy Lott Auto out of 5 from Classics. I found the 1 out of 7 from 2 years later did like $68. So I'm guessing, Raw, this is around 75 <coughs> Excuse me, as a 10. It's probably double that, so 150 ish Tony Siragusa came back as a 9. Man, these leaf vivids. I, I really thought, I know the centering probably was a little bit off, but I wasn't used to them. But an 8 on Hunter. I think this was numbered out of 7. Yeah, out of 7. That actually came out of a break. This is another one I picked up. Midwest Monster. Roman Wilson. Gold Auto. Steelers. PSA 10. If they ever figure out their quarterback stuff. And then a cracked ice of um, Alexander Madison. PSA 10. That was another Midwest monster pickup. So overall, not too bad on the grades. I'm going to hope there's a few more things coming in this week. I don't think I'm shipping. I don't think I'm going to ship the PSA this week. I'll have to really look at and see. Um, Got to get pricing and everything done for the show. Reload my box and stuff. But there probably will be at least one more video for the mail week. I'll try to get some video footage from the Lexington, Kentucky show. 
And that will be the wrap of this week going into Labor Day weekend. Like I said, following weekend be set up in Louisville. Uh, Got to just really see how much this stuff moves between eBay, Com C. Uh, some stuff may go just straight to DC Sports, especially when it's new and I want to move it at the best price I can quickly. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So stay tuned. I'm pretty sure I should have at least that repack box in either tomorrow or Friday. And there might be one other package with two cards, and it'll either be in tomorrow or Friday as well, too. So not too much of an exciting mail week. The rest of my PSA, minus the Stroud, um, electricity, optic, is in assembly, waiting on a grade on that. Crossing my fingers. We'll get to see what the graders notes looks like. Uh, I had to do the charge where it's going to show it. So it'll be quite interesting. I can't show those, I guess, per PSA rules or laws and stuff. So be interested to see them firsthand. All right, guys, stand by. There'll be more to the video. All right, guys, this will be ending off mail week. Uh, we'll be set up at the Lexington Card Show tomorrow. So if you're there, you'll see a lot of this stuff there. Up first, ooh, if I can get to focus now, there we go. 2003 Fleer event, uh, Kobe Bryant PSA 10. I have no idea why it's not picking that up now. There we go. Uh, pretty nice card. I can tell you I've graded a bunch of these, and my gem rate is very low, so kind of nice to see a 10. I know it's SGC, but Julio Rodriguez out of 50. Bowman. Platinum Rookie Auto 9510. Hit these on the Blaze Repack up first. iMac uh, 25 Kyler Murray. This was all quarterbacks. 101 Jared. Oh no, I'm sorry. 101 Matt Stafford. This is newer. I was going to say Goff. I'm so used to uh, seeing his stuff and not Stafford's. And then finally, the bigger hit. This is from Rookie Year Contenders Herbert 910. This is the, what they call it, the Rookie Roundup out of 25. So pretty cool stuff overall. Again, I uh, got to speed through this today just because I got a lot to get done for tomorrow for the uh, show. And then the following week, I'll be set up in Louisville with the J&J &J All-Star Show. So back-to-back -back weeks. Lots of stuff. Um, if you're in the area for either show, stop by as always. And if you don't see it out, always ask because I don't know. What I'll have behind the table, to be honest. But all right, guys, appreciate it. I will catch you guys next video.